Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go over some changes. I did it earlier, but I guess I'll do it now and I'll record it and stick it on YouTube, whatever. Um, so everyone can see what I think of the stuff and what I think would be better and all that crap. Um, so the first one's probably the best change. Um, hold on. Yeah, the reason th the volume is low is because I'm trying to. I always try and balance my mic with the sound, but no one gives me proper feedback. So it's like I can't turn my Skype sound up anymore because it's already really loud and it hurts my ears. So I have to like try and turn my mic down to compensate. So it gets balanced or whatever, if that makes sense. So yeah, anyway, first change is Spirit Shell. Not being able to be dispelled. That's really good because uh, it's like risky to use on low HP at the moment. Or at all, because if it gets dispelled, you just waste a load of mana and healing. Um, and it's, it's just a gamble right now. But when it gets like undispellable, then it's just the standard absorb. Can't be dispelled. Just solid plus healing basically, because it it scales off your mastery uh, and your crit. So if you look, if I do a flash heal, 59k. If I do a spirit shell, it's like 100k. That's including grace as well, I think. Um, and this propped as well. So do one more. Okay, well that's double now, but you get the point. It's about 100k as opposed to like 70k. So it's pretty big uh, in terms of healing free put. Um, then there's a shadow change, which I don't care about. It's like some PvE shit probably. Um, Devouring Plague, that's good. That's a Shadow Priest nerf. Um, well, not really a nerf, but it just means the damage is more spread out as opposed to bursty, which is the problem with Shadow Priest at the moment. Um, focus will. Um, is going to be given to Holy as well, and that's getting buffed, I think, to 30% when double stacked. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, the flash shield change isn't really anything, it's just a nerf to Shadow Priest flash shield, basically. Um, Power Word Solace change basically makes your Holy Fire um, into an instant, like the Glyph did, uh, but it also gives you 1% mana back. Uh, but I don't think it's that good. Just because you're losing your from darkness comes light proc because of it, and I think one percent mana every ten seconds, assuming you get a cast off every ten seconds, isn't worth it when the damage is total shit anyway. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be taking that. Um, the glyphs are being made not glyphs anymore. It's good shit. Frees us up a bit. Let's just choose some of the more important glyphs as opposed to having two mandatory glyphs and like one optional glyph sh slot, which is what we've got at the moment. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm rolling with Fjord out of Arena. Then you buff Fjord so it's got a two minute cooldown instead of three minute. And then you swap the glyph so to like either um, Pom. I choose either Pom or Inner Fire if people are training me. Or Shadow of Death if it's like a mage or a hunter team or something like that. And that way you basically get a free glyph. Which is kind of cool. Um, the new glyphs. Binding heal. Basically means your binding heal will heal a third target. Don't really like it. Costs 35% more mana. Not really useful a lot of the time in PvP. So not really worth a glyph slot. Um, then yeah that's Glyph of Inner Focus uh, being made baseline. It's cool as well. Uh, they were both kind of needed. Uh, I don't really like this either. Glyph of Weak and Soul. Especially when you're using uh, that discipline thing to remove Weak and Soul time anyway when you heal. It's not really needed. Um, um, I don't think it's worth a Glyph slot either. Penance, flat out buff. It's always nice. Although I don't think that's that was needed. I don't think they needed to buff Penance. The Penance damage was alright. The problem with penance was, like, the healing was a little low, but right now I'm just using it as a grace stacker and cheap heal when there's not too much pressure. And also it gives me uh, procs of Divine Insight, which is like uh, you can shield when people have uh, 
Okay, of course it doesn't proc now. You can shield and people have weakened soul, basically. Um, which is fucking cool. It's like a big healing three pit increase. And that'll be even better next patch. Um, because they're nerfing or buffing the power shield. They're making it half the mana cost. Um, but they're nerfing the rapture, which is the mana back. But overall, it's probably going to be better just because of that one talent. Uh, which means you're going to be shielding more than once every 12 sec anyway. So you won't be proccing Rapture on every shield. Um, so you'll get a decent amount back from that. Um, and won't be as reliant on your spirit, I guess. So it means you can just stack other stats. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Divine Age is no longer guaranteed when prayer healing. That's a PvE change. Um, just to make discs not prayer healing spammers in PvE. Um, they're getting rid of the 4k resilience on the 2 set and making the 4 set the, into the 2 set instead. Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. Because uh, they're adding a new 4 set, which is when you use Spirit Shell, your Flash Shield costs half the mana, which is really, really good um, because our burst healing was kind of an issue. Uh, when when Disc Priest had to burst heal, it literally meant spamming Flash Shield. And that fucking raped our mana. That was really the, the biggest issue with like if you didn't have to burst heal too much you could be pretty efficient and stay stay high mana for quite a while um, but when there was a lot of damage spamming flash heal just fucking raped you basically so yeah that's pretty much it um, I think they should have instead of buffing penance damage uh, and healing they should have buffed smite damage I think that wasn't needed um, it's nice to have, but it's, I think they're buffing the wrong thing because Penance has a cooldown and this needs more spammable damage, so that's not that great. Um, apart from that, the, the significant buffs are Spirit Shell cannot be dispelled, Flash Shell 50% mana, Glyphs removed, um, and the Powered Shield 50% mana cost. That's the, the big changes. Um, I'm kind of sad that there's not a anything about a, a glyph to make dispel dispel two like shamans have. I don't know if they still have that, but I think disc really, 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 really misses that when they removed it in car. It's probably the biggest nerf that the class has ever had. Um. So yeah, I think I think that's everything. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Um. So yeah, hopefully that covered. What everyone wanted to know about the the patch notes. Uh, this will definitely be stronger next patch because of it. Um, I guess it's yet to be seen how strong. The, the there's another issue that um, like we still don't have a niche. If you know what I mean, like last well in Wrath we had our damage and and mana burn that was the niche so we were like the offensive healer like if you didn't shut us down we'd fucking burn your mana we'd do shit tons of damage you know you'd get punished for it um but now it's like like what have we got we we have worse cc than than palas we have worse cc than druids um and debatably sh shamans as well because they have a range shock a grinding if you can call that a cc um it's more of a defensive CC, but okay, so they have a range shock and they have hex. We have Siphoned, if you take it, and we have a melee fear. And a lot of the time, priests just can't run in to get a melee fear against a lot of stuff. It's an issue. Um, so, like, you wouldn't take a priest for CC name anymore, you just wouldn't. Like, even Palas, it's, it's a much safer heal. You've got range CC, you've got a lot more of it. It's just better. Um, Damage-wise, like Dice got something like 25k Moonfire tick so earlier from a Druid, so we have worse. That's like all of our burst combined, by the way. So like, like Shamans probably have similar damage to Discs. Paladins have better. Sham uh, Druids have better. I won't talk about healing monks because I don't think they're really <laughs> viable at all. Um, I haven't really seen one, so. I can't really comment on that. Um, but yeah, uh, healing wise, I guess three put will be 
slightly more comparable now due to the spirit shell thing. We'll be able to spam that a lot more. Um, but we'll see. There's no actual flat out healing increase except penance, which is only 20%. So it's not going to be that much. Um, so s our burst healing is still not going to be so great, but it's just going to be more mana efficient. So we'll see how that goes. Um, our damage, as I said, is still bad. So it's like our survivability is the last thing. And it's still not amazing. I mean, okay, you've got the focus will change, which is 10% more less damage taken, which is great. But we do lose our diamond proc thing, which is off, off the shield. So we lose 4k resilience when we shield now. So, I mean, our, our survivability short term, like in a rush downs, it's worse than any healer. Um, long term, maybe it's better, but only if we get peels. Like we're still going to rely on peels and getting away, as opposed to just tanking raw damage. So I still don't really see a reason to take a priest over any other healer in most comps. Like maybe maybe RMP, but that's about it. I mean, what if you take a paladin and RMP instead? Okay. Let's think. Okay, we've got you've got blind, you've got repent, and you've got hodge. Well, hodge is going to deal with rogue stuns, and repent is going to deal with mage poly, so it probably won't be the best. Same thing with shaman. Hex is going to deal with poly, but you have shock. Um, and then now druid's cyclone is going to deal with, um, with everything basically. So priest is probably still the he best healer in RMP, but it, like if you look at other comps like just brute force comps and shit like that then it's like why would you ever take a disc same thing with, with wizard cleaves why, why would you take a disc it's it just it's really annoying um, and if they gave us a decent amount of damage you could offset that like if they if they buffed smite damage I was saying the other day what if they made a um, a passive with disc that made your holy damage ignore resilience like it wouldn't be OP because like how much you smite for on a dummy, let's have a check. Because it's just gonna you're gonna have to shut down priests again and it's like yeah people go on priests now to just fuck them. Um because they're weak or whatever, but it's like it's not the end of the world if people go on you, you know, you can live. Um which is how it was always. So if if you if you're smiting now look, twenty K smites. Okay, great. I got a, a racial prop, but like that's not imbalanced by any means. Twenty-five k penances. I mean, that's okay. Maybe that's slightly high if if you're doing it all the time. But okay, at least the smite thing. It's like if I'm smiting for twenty k, people are gonna want to stop that. I don't know. It just makes means smiting is gonna be more viable right now. Like right now, if I can smite or I can like dispel a riptide, I'll always dispel riptide. Like literally always, there's no reason to ever smite over dispelling something, it's just worse. And that's really sad, I think. It just makes the game more boring and like just removes our niche and Yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. Like, yeah, the buffs are nice and yeah they're gonna make a difference, but we still don't have our niche back and we're still inferior to other healers in most comps. Um so yeah, don't take it the wrong way, I'm not like whining or something, I'm just making an observation. Um, and I think Blizzard have overlooked it. So yeah, that's pretty much it.